Hi everyone, I would like to show you today um, some tips and tricks when we are segmenting our plates. So we have two segmentation methods. One is called semantic, which means that it will try to find all the objects in an image. So it's gonna, for example, take mountains, say this train cabin. Actually, I can show you right now. I'll just click on the image and click segment everything. And this is, this is basically just cutting all the pieces into segments. Uh, this method works the best when you want to separate one specific object. For example, this train cabin or the sky. What you can do is, for example, remove all other layers and only keep the sky, so you can then start in painting that sky as a backplate. Now, if you want to bring some uh, depth to your image by creating plates that are foreground, midground, and background, it's most useful to use depth segmentation. And I like to copy my original here because we are applying a depth map uh, on a specific layer, and original I usually just like to leave untouched. Now, when we hide the underlying layer, which is very important, otherwise you won't see the effects, you can go and begin sliding this depth range and the front, like if you go from right to left, it's gonna remove the foreground first and then slowly move over the image to what is furthest away. So right now we have here also a way to separate the sky but like, let's say we want the mountains, uh, we can do it more like this. Start in painting, for example, the bottom here as a middle plate. Um, yeah, and if you then want to say like this is the, we can also do it the other way around. So let's say we want to just keep the com train coming in the foreground. Uh, we can then click add to segments, which is basically just going to cut out this piece. Uh, it doesn't have a depth map. You can keep working on the depth map of this layer. Um, but basically this is your segment that you then can work with. And that's it for the segmentation methods. We are working on hover and click, which means that you can just, instead of having all the objects defined, you can click on an object and that will become a layer as well.